गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइन्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हे गिंग पास अवे रिसेंटली वॉज अ प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री सो ही वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द कंट्री नामीबिया एंड रिसेंटली ही डाइड at the age of 82 years because of cancer so he is the first prime minister post independence of namibia and he be became namibia's third president in the year 2014 so he is a key figure since independence from south africa and he held the record for namibia's longest serving prime minister before assuming the presidency so his passing marks the end of a significant era there in namibian political history right so he gingob recently passed away and he was the president of the country namibia now in the next slide we will see some of the important personalities that were in news first is recently who was officially sworn in as the president of guatemala here answer is bernardo arevalo he is the new president of guatemala country who has been appointed as the new prime minister of france by president emmanuel macron answer is gabriel attal okay he is the new prime minister of france and he has been appointed by president of france emmanuel macron what is an important point regarding president emmanuel macron he was the guest of honor of our republic day celebrations this year fine who has been named as the president designate for the 29th session of the conference of the parties cop 29 here answer is mukhtar baba yev he is the president designate for the 29th session of cop who is the new president of argentina that recently announced stern economic measures like 50% devaluation of the argentina peso answer is javier milei okay he is the president of the country argentina why he came into news because he devalued argentina peso why because of rising inflation and uh, inflation rises here up to 150% who was the president of the 2023 united nations climate change conference cop 28 here answer is sultan ahmed al jabbar this is an extremely important question because cop 28 is a very very important summit and you have to tell me what was the venue for cop 28 javier milei who was seen in the news this is the repeated question of question number 4 and here answer is argentina okay next is where was the india's first digital national museum of epigraphy inaugurated so union culture minister g kishan reddy inaugurated the foundation stone for india's digital national museum of epigraphy at the salangar jung museum that lies in hyderabad and it is managed by archaeological survey of india basic aim is to digitize 1 lakh ancient inscriptions from various periods and languages which would definitely align with the bharat shared repository of inscriptions initiative so also he praised the development as a key stride in the modi government's vikas bhi virasat bhi commitment and it would underscore the role of technology in providing universal access to cultural heritage and it would highlight the museum's transformative potential for the scholars right so india's very first digital national museum of epigraphy has been inaugurated in hyderabad now in the next slide we will see some of the important news regarding first who has been appointed as the first woman chief justice of uttarakhand high court here answer is ritu bahari she is the very first woman chief justice of uttarakhand high court recently which country has become the first european country to accept the upi payment system answer is france france is the very first european country to accept our upi payment system upi is developed by npci full form is national payments corporation of india Recently which institution launched North India's first human DNA bank under Make in India initiative this is BHU means Banaras Hindu University recently they have launched India's very first human DNA bank under Make in India initiative 
Which one of the following city is the venue of the India's first beach side startup festival named as Emerge 2024? Here answer is Mangaluru. It is the venue for India's very first beach side startup festival named as Emerge 2024. Recently, which neurotechnology company has embedded the first computer chip in a human brain? Answer is Neuralink. Okay, so they have embedded the first computer chip into a human brain. Next is, which one of the following is the best description of Abhyas that was recently seen in the news? Actually, DRDO means the Defense Research and Development Organization recently achieved the success with four flight trials of Abhyas, which is a high-speed expendable aerial target. Okay, it is developed by DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment, and uh, Abhyas serves as a realistic threat scenario. for the weapon system practices and it validates the armed forces equipment for aerial engagement also it features an autonomous flying design which is an indigenously made or built auto pilot okay also a laptop based ground control system for integration and analysis here abhyas is basically a high speed expendable aerial target that is the option okay In the next slide, we will see some of the important missile-related current affairs. First is, which country has recently signed an agreement with the U.S. to purchase the Tomahawk missile? So Japan has signed this agreement with USA, and now they are purchasing the Tomahawk missiles with the country U.S. What type of missile is Astra, which was recently making news? Astra is basically air-to-air -air missile. What type of missile is new generation Akash NG missile? so it is a kind of surface to air missile tali and nasir cruise missiles were recently unveiled by which country so these two missiles belong to the country iran which country signed an agreement with india to supply its igla handheld anti aircraft missile answer is russia russia has signed this agreement with our country so that they can supply their igla handheld anti aircraft missile to india fine Next is which country recently adopted the Nagoya protocol on access and benefit sharing This country is Cameroon and recently it adopted the Nagoya protocol which is a global agreement that enforces access and benefit sharing obligations outlined in the Convention on Biological Diversity that is CBD it was adopted in the year 2010 and uh, it became effective since 2014 So the protocol establishes a legal framework that facilitates fair and equitable sharing of benefits from the genetic resource utilization and it supports biodiversity based research to ensure the researchers to have the access to those resources for biotechnology while indigenous communities receive fair returns so they respect the value of traditional knowledge which is linked to genetic resources right So Cameroon has recently adopted the Nagoya protocol on access and benefit sharing. Now here our keyword is country and in the next slide we will see some of the important international current affairs. The first question is in which country did India send humanitarian aid amid a cholera outbreak? So this country is Zambia and recently India has sent 3.5 tons of humanitarian aid to this country. which is a south african country so that they can tackle with their cholera outbreak and this aid includes different type of medicines water purification supplies and the chlorine tablets so emergency funding will also support humanitarian partners unicef and the who in their efforts to address the health water hygiene and sanitation needs there okay next is valparaiso region recently seen in the news due to forest fire is located in which country here answer is chile and nearly 112 people have died in this region because of fast moving wild fires and these fires are thought to be the deadliest ever that were recorded in chile so government is now investigating whether some of the fires were deliberately started or not and the fires have also destroyed an estimated 3000 to 6000 homes there and these fires are thought to be the result of a week of record setting temperatures caused by el nino 
and high heat has also caused some drought and generally it has it increased the wild fire risk right so it lies in the country chile aldebra giant turta is recently seen in the news is endemic to which particular country so a six year project aims to reintroduce this second largest land turtles species which is native to madagascar to the wild after 600 years and uh, it migrated to the country seychelles don't forget that they are categorized as vulnerable in the icn list recently india surpassed which country to become the fourth largest equity market globally so india has surpassed the country hong kong to become the fourth largest equity market globally which are the top 3 countries in this regard the first one is us second is china and the third one is japan okay petro fiala the guest of honor at the 10th vibrant gujarat global investor summit is the prime minister of which country so petro fiala is the guest of honor at the 10th vibrant gujarat global investor summit and he is the prime minister of zec republic next is what is the iucn status of black necked crane recently seen in the news so the government has undertaken some crucial measures to safeguard the black necked crane as revealed by the union minister of state for environment it basically resides in the high altitude wetlands of the tibetan plateau and uh, right now it is facing threat like habitat loss due to climate change some agricultural changes are also affecting them and uh, they are also affected by the pollution and environmental contamination so with a uh, distribution in india china and bhutan it holds a near threatened status on the icn list and uh, it is listed in scheduled 1 of the wildlife protection act of 1972 okay also it lies in appendix 1 of the sites fine now we will revise the iucn status of some of the species first is what is the iucn status of indian grey wolf recently seen in the news they are classified as least concern what is the iucn status of wandering albatrosses they are classified as vulnerable what is the iucn status of agulhas long billed lark recently seen in the news answer is near threatened what is the iucn status of great india bustard great indian bustard is classified as critically endangered what is the iucn status of gangetic dolphin recently seen in the news they are classified as an endangered species What is the IUCN status of Indian vulture recently seen in the news they are the critically endangered species okay so these are some of the species that came into news for one or the other reason and uh, it is mandatory for us to remember their IUCN status next is who has been awarded the prestigious maha gorav award 2024 here answer is nikhil mukund bag and he is a public relations officer at goa shipyard limited recently he was awarded the 2024 maha gorav award and this award was presented by maharashtra deputy cm who is it mr ajit pawar on behalf of the digital media editor journalist association maharashtra okay simply you have to remember that this year who has been honored with the maha gorav award your answer would be nikhil mukund vag okay Now let's have a look at some of the important awards and honors. First is recently which album won the best global music album award at the Grammy Awards 2024. Here answer is this moment. Okay? And it belonged to Shakti band. Recently it won the 2024 Grammy award for the best global music album. This album was released in 2024. and it features total 8 songs and don't forget that the grammy awards are a series of awards that recognize outstanding achievements in the music industry recently who received the 2024 best green bond corporate award at the asset triple a awards for sustainable finance here answer is rec limited they have received the 2024 best green bond corporate award at the asset triple a awards for sustainable finance and this award recognizes rec's commitment to environmental and sustainable finance and uh, talking about rec limited it is a maharatna central public sector enterprise which works under ministry of power and also it is a leading nbfc 
so in april 2023 rsc limited issued 750 million dollars in the green bonds which is why they have received this particular award fine so here answer is rsc limited kutai amir communal harmony award which was seen in the news is associated with which indian state so this award is presented by the state of tamil nadu and this year it has been given to muhammad zubair who is muhammad zubair he is the co-founder of alt news okay recently who has been conferred the prestigious freedom of city of the london award here answer is mr ajit mishra and last is recently which two airports were awarded the best airport of the year at the wings india awards 2024 so the first one is uh, Kempe Gorda International Airport that lies in Bangalore and uh, the second one is Indira Gandhi International Airport that lies in Delhi. Okay, These are the two airports that have been honored with the best airport of the year award. Next is who won the 87 kgs Greco Roman title at the National Wrestling Championships 2024. Here answer is B option Sunil Kumar. Recently he won the 87 kg Greco Roman title at the 2024 national wrestling championships which took place in jaipur rajasthan when on 4th of february okay don't forget that sunil kumar has beaten manoj kumar to win this title so sunil kumar is also an asian games bronze medalist right so who has won the 87 kgs greco roman title at the national wrestling championships 2024 answer is sunil kumar Let's have a look at some of the important championships that came into news. First is, recently who became the second Indian man to win a gold medal at the Asian Marathon Championships in 2024? Here answer is Man Singh. Fit India Champions podcast series which was seen in the news is launched by which ministry? This series was initiated by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport. Which state clinched the title of 13th Senior National Men's Hockey Championship? Here answer is Punjab. Punjab has won this championship by defeating the Haryana hockey team. Who was named the 2023 ITF World Champions by the International Tennis Federation? Answer is Novak Djokovic. And from which country Novak Djokovic belong to? He is from the country Serbia. Who has won the women's singles title at the National Badminton, Ch at the National Badminton Championship 2023? That took place in Guwahati. So the winner of this event is Anmol Khar. Okay. Also, you have to remember that the venue for National Badminton Championship 2023 was Guwahati, Assam. Next is EV Upyog portal recently seen in the news is associated with which Indian state? Here answer is Uttar Pradesh and UP government is actually prioritizing the electric vehicle use and manufacturing through the development of this EP Upyog portal. And UP Development System Corporation Limited is now hiring a software development agency for one year to upgrade this portal, which will include different features like cloud storage, database capabilities, and specialized software. So Ministry of Electronics and IT, Empaneled Service Provider will oversee the cloud server integration, which would emphasize the cyber security, cost effectiveness, and scalability also, it would enhance the convenience and reliability, fine. So EV Upyog portal is associated with the UP government. Now in the next slide, we will see some state related current affairs. First is, which state government recently announced the free access to the Pertuzumab, Trastuzumab combination drug for the treatment of breast cancer. So Goa is the first state in the country that have announced free access to this drug for the treatment of breast cancer. Recently, which state won the Nagesh Trophy in the men's national T20 cricket for the blind? Answer is Karnataka. Recently, which state cabinet approved the Uniform Civil Code report? So, Uttarakhand state has recently approved the UCC report. Which state has secured the first position in the medal tally at the Khelo India Youth Games 2023 that took place in Chennai city? Here answer is Maharashtra state. And what was the venue for Hello India Youth Games? Answer is Tamil Nadu. And don't forget that Tamil Nadu came at second position in this medal tally. Okay. Next is Martha and Sun Temple, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state or the Union territory? Martha and Sun Temple lies in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट इज हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू आर्मी वाइस चीफ दिस इज लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल उपेंद्र द्विवेदी ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द इंडियन आर्मी न्यू वाइस चीफ एंड ही वुड सक्सीड लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल एम वी सुचिंद्रा कुमार ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट उपेंद्र द्विवेदी ही हैज अ डिस्टिंग्विश कैरियर एंड ही हैल्ड इंपॉर्टेंट पोजिशन अर्लियर लाइक डेप्यूटी चीफ एंड डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ इन्फेंट्री and his operational expertise during the india china standoff in the northern command makes him well suited for this role and this move ensures a seamless succession plan with lieutenant general suchindra kumar set to command the northern army in udhampur fine so who is the new army vice chief answer is upendra divedi let's see some of the important uh, appointments that came into news recently who has been selected for assam's highest civilian award named as assam vaibhav assam vaibhav has been presented to ranjan gogoi who is ranjan gogoi he is basically our 46th number of chief justice of india which indian has been elected as the vice chair of the united nation panel of auditors answer is gc murmu petro sankes was reelected as the prime minister of which country he was reelected as the prime minister of the country spain Daniel Noboa has been elected as the president of which country he has been elected as the president of the country Ecuador okay Christopher Luxon has been elected as the prime minister of which country he has been elected as the prime minister of New Zealand fine now last is what is the proposed interim budget for Jammu and Kashmir for the fiscal year 2024 to 2025 So India has unveiled an interim budget of 14 billion dollars for Jammu and Kashmir which marks a significant commitment to the region's economic development and the proposed budget of 1.18 lakh crore rupees surpasses IMF's financial aid to Pakistan by 4.72 times so it would definitely emphasize India's dedication to the growth and stability of Jammu and Kashmir and uh, this an announcement coincided with the pakistan's kashmir solidarity day showcasing india's robust financial support for this region fine so what is the proposed interim budget for jnk for the fiscal year 2024 to 25 here answer is 14 billion dollars let's see some important budget related current affairs what is the total estimated expenditure in the budget for financial year 2024 to 25 so total estimated expenditure in this year's budget is 47.66 lakh crore rupees in the interim budget 2024 to 25 which of the following crops are taken into consideration for atmanirbhar oil seeds abhiyan so in this budget the crops that are taken into consideration for atmanirbhar oil seeds abhiyan are mustard groundnut sesam soybean and sun flour which ministry has received the highest budgetary allocation in the interim budget 2024 this is ministry of defense halwa ceremony recently seen in the news is related to which one of the following halwa ceremony is associated with budget okay so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this news hatsana signing off